the hospital are expecting you. And I said, well, when are they expecting me? When now? Hi, my name is Diane Kindred. I was diagnosed with ALL, which is acute lymphoblastic leukemia in October, 2017. 10 days before diagnosis, um, I got pains in both my elbows and it, it, the, it, the pains got increasingly worse over the over days to the point where um, I, I couldn't raise my hand, arms at all. My husband had to dress me to get my clothes on. The pains were so bad. Um, so I went to a and and that was on a Sunday. Um, and they just did little tests. They didn't do any blood tests, but I spoke to a nurse there. And they um, said it could be nerve damage, but thought it was unusual that it was both elbows because I'd had suffered from nerve damage in the past. But they just they, they thought that was a possibility, but it was unusual that it was both elbows. So they booked me, booked me an appointment, um, a telephone appointment with a physiotherapist, but also told me to go and see my GP. So on the Tuesday, I had the telephone conversation with the, the physiotherapist, um, and she didn't think, she said, I, I think it's unusual that it would be nerve damage if it's both elbows. It doesn't ring true. So she said, you really need to go to your GP. And I said, well, actually, I'm going, I've got an appointment. As soon as I finish talking to you, I'm going to my GP. Um, and she said, insist on having blood tests. And I was like, all right, okay. And so I went to the GP. He um, then said he thought it was nerve damage. And I, said, I told them that I spoke to a physio and she didn't think that's what it would be. Um, and that she ins- said that I should insist on blood tests. And, I, and he says, I'll give you some strong anti-inflammatories, take them. And I went, well, I really want blood tests. I really, you know, the, the, the physios insisted that I have them. So could I have some blood tests take just, just to take, just to rule things out, just to put my mind at, at, at ease? And he said, well, I'm, I'm running late, so I haven't got time to do blood tests today. So make an appointment with a nurse and, and get them done. Um, so I couldn't get an appointment with a nurse until the Friday. So, so I did. Um, and then it was, it was my day off that day, my husband's as well. So we went out, I took, had, went to the doctors, had the blood tests, and then we went out for the day. Um, we were in, in Newcastle. Um, doing a bit of shopping, having some lunch. And, um, and it was Oktoberfest. And I just, I was taking photographs on my phone. That's why I noticed, oh, I've got a missed call. So there was a voicemail. So I'm trying to listen to it, all the noise around us. And I was, oh, it's from the doctor. That's unusual. So I said, should we go somewhere a bit quieter? And then we'll listen, you know, he's going to ring, he says he's going to ring us back. So we'll, we'll go somewhere a bit quieter. So we headed off to a pub. Just about we got in, just about order our drinks and my phone rang. So I went outside um, and then he said, well, there's some um, abnormal blood cells in your blood tests um, and the hospital are expecting you. And I said, well, when are they expecting me? He went, now. I was like, oh, OK. Came home, made the phone calls, packed a, a, an overnight bag and then went to the hospital. And... Um, I think it was the Saturday before someone actually came and even mentioned leukemia because it was over the weekend. The, the the top consultant wasn't actually there. So it was just weekend staff that were dealing with it. So then Monday morning came. So I then asked the question, other than leukemia, what are you looking for? He went, nothing. I just need to know what type of leukemia. And that was, and I was in the room by myself, which was a bit of a, bit of a shock, bit of a bombshell, yeah. 